Hello, everybody, and welcome to my teaser of Tutoring with Tori. In this video, I'm going to give you guys a highlight. This is going to be a freebie for you. I'm going to show you all the things that are required to get you started to get your real estate salesperson certificate. So first, we're going to cover over some basic things that you need in order to apply to Humber. Yes, you do need to apply. Humber is the only school right now that is offering the program. It used to be with Aurea, and now Humber has monopolized it. So you can only do it through them. Some things you do do is the application process. You can do that online from their website. It takes maybe a day. Um, if that, they have a really quick process for that. Some things you wanna keep in mind, you have to be 18 years or older. You do have to be a permanent resident or a Canadian citizen, as well as you do have to have a Canadian secondary diploma or a GED certificate. There are some alternatives. If you don't have either one of those, definitely reach out to Humber. Sometimes you may have it and it's in a different language. You would need to arrange to have that translated or there are there is an alternative entry exam which i'll go over shortly next to apply there is a 75 dollars fee for it that is non non-refundable so once you pay that you're not getting that back and now to touch on the admissions exam so if you don't have that educational certificate to show to humber an alternative is you can take an administ an admissions exam directly with humber so this one, the exam does cost $75 per attempt. So with this exam, there's 65 questions, it's all online, and it focuses on three categories, which are reading, writing, and arithmetic. Each section, you need to score at least 250 points or more, but there's no time limit, so you can literally take as long as you need, but most people do finish within an hour and a half. So I will also include a link below. I haven't done this admissions exam myself, but I've heard from a few people who have, and someone has shared a link with, with me where you can find some practice exams to help prepare yourself for it. So check below for that link. Now on to the actual good stuff. <laughs> so to get your Humber Real Estate Salesperson Certificate, there's gonna be 11 things you need to do. So there are five courses that you need to read through. There's four theory exams that you need to pass. And then there's two simulation sessions that you need to attend and pass the assessment. What you wanna keep in mind is that everything is completely online. So even pre-COVID, when Humber released this program, I had started it and the exams were mandatory in person. And then everything else, all the reading and everything is online. Now completely everything is online, including the simulation classes, which were previously in person as well. So with all of the exams, the four theory exams and the two simulation assessments, you need to have a minimum passing grade of 75%. Not 74, not 73, and no, they won't budge you. So you need to make sure you have 75% or more passing grade. So with the Humber rules, what it states is that you can write the exam if you fail it, you have to pay another $100 to write the exam. If you fail it a second time, you would have to then purchase the whole course again and go through it. So with courses two to four, there is an option to complete the facilitated review, section, review sessions. Those are completely optional. It will cost you extra money and it will be extra time. But for those people, I would say most people don't need it. But for those people who have taken the exam two, three times and not passing and nowhere close, it may be a good solution for you where you can attend online classes and meet with a Humber facilitator and they will go through some of the modules with you to break things down better. So one of the great things about the Humber courses as well is that it is pay as you go. So you pay for the first course, then you pay for the exam, then you go on to the next course. So you literally pay for it as you progress in the program. Another thing to keep in mind, there's no OSAP, there's no grants or anything that I could find. So basically, you either pay it yourself or you borrow it somehow. And another thing, keep your receipts for tax purposes. All your payments that you're making towards the exams, the courses, those are educational expenses, or depending on how you file your taxes, it could be business expenses. 
So now we're gonna go through a breakdown of each course, what's involved and what the costs are. So for example, course number one is seven modules long. On the Humber website, they estimate that it's gonna be about 40 hours to complete, which is about one week, but you do have up to four weeks to complete the course. It costs $525 for the course. Once you finish clicking through all the slides, then the, you purchase the exam, which is $100. Course number two, this is called residential real estate transaction as well. With this course, it is 20 modules long. It is the longest course of, the, of all of them and it is a beast. So really mentally prepare yourself before you start it. It's really long, but you take your baby steps and you'll get through it. So with the course two, they estimate that it's gonna be about 150 hours, which is about 10 weeks to complete. The course is $595, and then the, again, the exam is $100. This one does have that facilitated review session, which is optional, but that session will cost you an extra $280. And then going on to course number three. Course number three is called Additional Real Estate, Residential Real Estate Transactions. It's nine modules long, 70 hours, and about six weeks to complete. This course is $315, and then again, the exam is $100. As a tidnote, one of the free contents you guys are gonna be getting is my actual course schedule that I did when completing the Humber courses, how long I took with each course, reading and studying. It's a lot shorter than what they estimate, so if you want a more realistic time frame, definitely check that out in the content below. So going on to course, once you're finished course number three, then we go on to this first simulation session. So again, this used to be in person at a Humber facility or another educational facility, but now it's online. So what it is, it's a week-long classes of Zoom. So you attend Zoom, there's either between 20, sometimes 30 or 40 other students attending as well. And there will be one to two Humber facilitators and they will teach you about the content. You can do it either a week long, a business week, which is Monday to Friday from nine to 5 p.m. You need to be on the Zoom, sitting at the computer, listening from nine to five. It's a whole lot of content that's thrown at you. So you really have to pay attention, make sure the kids are put away or taken care of, the dog is and the cat, any pets are put away. You wanna make sure you pay attention and then the last day of the session will be an assessment. And that again, you need 75% to pass. As an alternative for the simulation sessions, you can do them on weekends for people who are working full time or just have other responsibilities. So for the first sims, it would be over a span of three weekends, Saturday, Sunday, again, nine to 5 p.m. So once you finish sims, Simulation course number one, then we go on to course number four. This course is heavily focused on commercial real estate transactions. So this course is 15 modules long. Humber estimates that'll be about 60 hours or five, you have five weeks to complete it. The course itself is $315 and then the exam again is $100. Once you're, and with that one, you also have the option of completing the facilitated review sessions for $120 for that course. Then we're on to simulation session number two. So this one is also focused on commercial real estate transactions. So this simulation session is $600. The first one was 700, this one is 600. This one is actually four days long, so it's Monday to Thursday or you do it over two weekends. Again, it's nine to five. And the assessment for the Sims classes is included in that price. Once you're done Sims number two, you are downhill from there. Then you're on to course number five, which is just reading. There's no exam, which is amazing and such a big relief. So course number five is called Getting Started. It's two modules, it costs $90. They say it'll take about five weeks, sorry, five hours or one week to complete. I did it in a day. So everybody's different. Again, there's no exam with that one. And that is basically the whole frame structure of all the things that you need to do. Some things you wanna keep in mind is that when you are reading through the courses, you can't actually book the exam date until you've clicked through every slide. So as most people, what I suggest is read through the slides, take your time, budget time, go through all of the readings, book the exam once you're ready and use that time to study. What some people have been doing to get around that 
is they will click through all the slides, literally hundreds, if not like a thousand slides, and then book their exam for a date that they're comfortable with, and then use that time to study and finish the readings up until that date. It is an option, not what I suggest, but you do what's best for you. So once you do click through the slides, you actually will have access to that course for 12 months. We used to have access to it forever, but in the last year or so, Humber did put a time frame on it. So there, I do have a video on my channel showing you how to save the slides as PDFs, so you can just keep it in your files forever. Now, just an extra tidbit about the FRS, which is the Facilitated Review Sessions. It's optional. It's additional money. It will add more time to your, your schedule and completing the courses, but those who need it, it's there for you. I've, I haven't taken any of them myself, but I have heard from a lot of people that it wasn't so convenient because they give you a schedule and you have to read certain modules by these dates in order to review it in those sessions. So for some people, it kind of defeated the purpose as doing the courses on your own time because now you have a schedule that you have to keep to. So it's completely optional. If you want more information about it, feel free to follow up with Humber. So once you've completed all of these items, these are the pre-registration requirements. You can then find a brokerage that you wanna work with, apply to RICO to get your license, which is exciting. And then once you have your license, you have up to two years to complete the post-educational requirements that we will do in another video that will come later on. Right now, we're gonna focus on the pre-registration. All right, guys, so that's everything for this video. I hope you found that as valuable content to give you a good idea of what to expect to complete your pre-registration requirements for your real estate license. Stay tuned for more content and check the link below to be able to purchase my courses and start learning on your own. See you in the next video.